In this video, we delve into the captivating world of cheesemaking, where artistry meets science, resulting in a beloved dairy delight. From the meticulous process in a factory, to the boundless creativity of home cheesemaking, the journey unfolds with four key ingredients – milk, starter cultures, rennet, and salt. Explore the secrets of fermentation, coagulation, and aging as the flavors and textures of cheese develop. Discover the allure of Wisconsin, the heart of cheese production, and unravel the magic behind the largest cheese factory in the world. Witness the transformation of milk into a tantalizing array of cheese varieties, from fresh and creamy to aged and sharp. With recipes at your fingertips, embark on your own cheesemaking adventure as you craft flavors uniquely tailored to your palate. The world of cheesemaking beckons, inviting you to savor the captivating artistry and delectable science that brings forth this timeless culinary treasure. Cheesemaking in a factory is an intricate and fascinating process that combines craftsmanship with modern technology, resulting in the production of this beloved dairy product enjoyed worldwide. So, what exactly is the process to make cheese in a factory? Let's delve into the captivating journey. It all begins with the primary ingredient, milk. The milk is carefully sourced from local dairy farms and transported to the cheese factory, where it undergoes stringent quality checks to ensure freshness and purity. Once approved, the milk is heated to a specific temperature, which helps remove any harmful bacteria while preserving the beneficial enzymes necessary for cheese making. To initiate the fermentation process, starter cultures are introduced to the milk. These cultures contain a combination of beneficial bacteria that contribute to the distinctive flavors, textures, and aromas of different types of cheese. The milk and starter cultures are thoroughly mixed and left to ferment for a designated period, allowing the cultures to multiply and transform the milk into a curd-like consistency. After fermentation, rennet is added to coagulate the milk. Rennet is a natural enzyme derived from the stomach lining of young ruminant animals or produced through microbial fermentation. It acts on the proteins in the milk, causing them to form curds and whey. The curds are carefully cut to release more whey, and the mixture is gently stirred and heated to further promote curd fermentation while expelling additional whey. Once the curds have reached the desired consistency, they are separated from the whey. This is achieved by draining the whey through a series of screens and filters, leaving behind the curds. The curds are then pressed to remove any remaining whey and to shape them into molds, giving the cheese its characteristic form. Salt is a vital component of the cheesemaking process, as it not only enhances the flavor, but also acts as a preservative. The salt is either added directly to the curds, or applied to the surface of the cheese after it is removed from the molds. The cheese is then transferred to an aging room, where it undergoes a carefully controlled environment that allows it to mature and develop its unique flavors over time. Now, you might wonder if cheesemaking in a factory is a profitable venture. The answer is yes, as the demand for cheese continues to grow worldwide. Cheese is a versatile and widely consumed dairy product, with countless varieties catering to different culinary preferences. The success of a cheese factory largely depends on factors such as market demand, production efficiency, and product quality. Speaking of cheese factories, the world's largest cheese factory can be found in the United States. Located in Wisconsin, a state renowned for its cheese production, this colossal facility processes an astounding amount of milk into various types of cheese each day. The factory employs advanced technology and operates on a large scale to meet the ever-increasing demand for cheese. In fact, Wisconsin is often referred to as the number one cheese producing state in the United States, with its rich dairy heritage favorable climatic conditions, and a strong network of dairy farms, Wisconsin has become a powerhouse in the cheese industry, producing a wide range of cheese varieties enjoyed domestically and internationally. Establishing a cheese factory requires a significant investment in infrastructure, equipment, and resources. The cost of building a cheese factory can vary widely depending on the scale of production, technological requirements, and other factors. It is a complex endeavor that demands careful planning and financial analysis to ensure a successful and profitable operation. While cheesemaking in a factory involves specialized equipment and large-scale production, it is still possible to make cheese at home. In fact, making cheese at home has gained popularity among enthusiasts and culinary adventurers. With some basic equipment, high-quality ingredients, and guidance from recipes and tutorials, you can embark on your cheesemaking journey right in your own kitchen. It allows for creativity, 
experimentation, and the satisfaction of crafting a homemade delicacy. A cheese factory is commonly referred to as a creamery. The term creamery denotes a facility where milk is processed into various dairy products, including cheese. These establishments are equipped with state-of-the-art equipment and employ skilled cheesemakers who oversee the production process, ensuring the quality and consistency of the cheese they produce. The four main ingredients used in cheese making are milk, starter cultures, rennet, and salt. Milk serves as the base for cheese, providing the necessary proteins, fats, and sugars. Starter cultures, typically composed of bacteria strains, initiate the fermentation process and contribute to the unique flavors and textures of cheese. Rennet, derived from animal or microbial sources, aids in coagulating the milk, forming curds. Salt is added to enhance the flavor, texture, and preservation of the cheese. Raw materials for cheese making primarily revolve around milk. While cow's milk is the most commonly used, other milk varieties such as goat's milk or sheep's milk can also be utilized. These raw materials are carefully sourced from reputable suppliers to ensure their quality, freshness, and compliance with food safety standards. The consumption of raw cheese, made from unpasteurized milk, is often deemed illegal due to health concerns. Raw milk and raw cheese carry a higher risk of bacterial contamination, which can lead to foodborne illnesses. Pasteurization, the process of heating milk to kill harmful bacteria, is commonly employed in commercial cheese production to ensure product safety. Therefore, most commercially available cheese is made from pasteurized milk. It takes a significant amount of milk to produce a relatively small quantity of cheese. On average, about 10 pounds of milk are required to yield one pound of cheese. This ratio highlights the concentration of flavors, nutrients, and textures present in cheese, making it a delightful and satisfying food. The shelf life of homemade cheese varies depending on the type of cheese and the storage conditions. Fresh cheeses like cottage cheese or ricotta typically have a shorter shelf life of around one to two weeks when refrigerated. On the other hand, aged cheeses such as cheddar or parmesan can be stored for several months or even years under proper conditions such as in a cool and humid environment. It is important to note that homemade cheese may have a shorter shelf life compared to commercially produced cheeses due to differences in processing, handling, and packaging. When it comes to making cheese, different types of milk can be utilized depending on the desired characteristics of the final product. Higher fat milk, such as whole milk, contributes to a richer and creamier cheese, while lower fat milk, like skim milk, results in a lighter and less fatty cheese. The choice of milk depends on personal preference and the specific type of cheese being made. The time required to make cheese can vary depending on various factors, including the type of cheese, the production scale, and the aging process. While some fresh cheeses can be made relatively quickly, aged cheeses may require weeks, months, or even years of aging to develop their desired flavors and textures. Patience and careful monitoring are essential when making cheese, as each stage of the process contributes to the final product's quality and characteristics. Cheesemaking recipes are abundant and diverse, offering a plethora of options to explore and experiment with in the comfort of your own kitchen. From soft and creamy brie's to sharp and tangy cheddars, the world of cheesemaking offers endless possibilities. Recipes provide detailed instructions, ingredient lists, and step-by-step -step guidance to help you navigate the cheesemaking process and create delicious artisanal cheeses tailored to your taste. So grab your apron, gather your ingredients, and let your cheesemaking adventure begin. In conclusion, whether you find yourself marveling at the precision of a cheese factory or embarking on your own cheesemaking journey at home, the world of cheesemaking offers a captivating fusion of tradition, innovation, and culinary exploration. From the rich history of creameries to the allure of Wisconsin's cheese production, every step in the process reveals the craftsmanship and dedication behind this beloved dairy delicacy. So, immerse yourself in the art and science of cheesemaking as you unlock a world of flavors, textures, and endless possibilities. Get ready to indulge in the timeless pleasure of cheese, where every bite carries a story of meticulous craftsmanship and the pursuit of gastronomic delight. Let the captivating world of cheesemaking enchant your senses and elevate your culinary adventures to new heights. <laughs>